We are in Columbia, Missouri at the Columbia Mall. This is a newer arcade, Level Up. I'm going to check it out and give you guys a full tour. Here's the panoramic view, and uh, the focus is children here, but they do have some arcade games. I'm going to check them out. They're newer ones, but uh, I'll show you guys anyway. There's some redemption stuff here too, and uh, let's take the tour. So we have uh, Hot Wheels King of the Road. I have never heard of that. That's a newer machine. And of course, this is stuff you would see like at Chuck E. Cheese. And uh, it's, it looks pretty cool. And then we have a Mario Kart Arcade GP DX. I would love to have one of these in the game room. Of course, I'd have to shell out a couple grand, right? But totally awesome. And this is the only Mario Kart that has not received a home release. Super Bikes 3. This is a Rawls Thrills um, release. Again, kind of, you know, the focus is on, you know, younger children. But here's Cruisin' Blast. This is the newest version of Cruisin' USA. This is a Nintendo release. I might actually have to play this and Mario Kart before I end my tour. And uh, I've seen this a couple times, but I haven't actually played it. I've been wanting to, and I, I haven't seen the full um, cabinet like this, I guess. And that's pretty radical, man. Totally awesome. And yeah, everything, you have to basically use a card to uh, play the games now. And that's pretty smart. A lot of arcades were switching to that anyway before COVID-19. And... Uh, it's just smart and efficient. You don't have to collect coins or tokens or anything like that. Over here we have a Harpoon Lagoon. I have no idea what the heck this is. It looks colorful and bright and it looks like it's some kind of competition game. And then Crazy Tower. And I love these little, little tables here. They're pretty cool. Now there's a bowling alley here I'll show you guys too. Here is a treasure quest. This is like a redemption ticket game, I guess. And good old doodle jump. <laughs> I've seen this in more mall arcades than I can count. And yeah, it's still pretty popular. And what the heck is this? Dizzy Chicken. I've never seen one of these. Kind of colorful, redemption stuff. I don't know, kind of cool. If I was a kid, I'd like it. And then if you go to an arcade, you gotta have some skee-ball type stuff. Uh, these are like beanbag games, I guess. Beanbag toss, down the clown bonus. Uh, milk jug toss Hoopala what the heck <laughs> oh I've actually played this game Bubby and I played it one time I don't know why I think we just did it out of you know hilarity I guess Angry Birds Arcade okay Kind of cool, I guess. Gold fishing. Yeah, all these games are very colorful and bright. 
uh, circus ball drop. Big bass wheel. Then you got a Scooby Doo, where are you game. And this is basically DDR. 2017 Prime 2 and if I'm not mistaken those are DDR boards I I don't know I'm not a DDR expert or anything man I can remember that craze like it was yesterday everyone was playing DDR and then you have a Jurassic Park arcade and I've never seen this Halo Fire Team Raven. I'm not the biggest Halo fan, but this is pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. It's a rails on shooter, it appears like. Yeah. That's pretty pretty neat actually. Never heard of it. You know, a newer game, of course. I know that Stevie would love this, and he'd love to play it. For sure. You have a Dark Escape 4D room. I don't know what this is all about. I mean, it looks cool, but I would never try it. And then this is totally, totally rocking. The world's largest Pac-Man. You got Galaga and Pac-Man. I am gonna be playing this. Totally awesome. Look how big that screen is. Oh man, I'm gonna get a close up on it. You know, this would be pretty radical to have in your house, but I would assume that this would cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but it is pretty rad. I'll probably be playing Galaga on here. Uh, like Flappy Bird, I guess. And then, uh, Disney Crossy Road, kind of like Frogger, I guess. I don't know. Again, you know, these newer games, they're targeted towards children. Space Invaders Frenzy. I didn't see this. That is radical. The old classics will never die. So it looks like it's kind of like a rails on shooter game type thing. And um, I'm gonna try this one out as well, I think. You also have a little bit more redemption stuff over here. And I'll show you guys their bowling alley here in a second. They also have a laser tag room. And she was explaining it to me that it's really, really big. And it kind of goes far back into the facility here. And uh, she said that there's actually been a few other YouTubers who have come here and filmed specifically for the laser tag. And it looks like it's almost like a Ninja Turtle theme. That's pretty cool. I don't plan on going in here. If you guys have been in the laser tag room, let me know. And if it's worth your time. It looks cool. Some redemption stuff, Monopoly. And they also have like play places for the kids. I like that. Some more redemption stuff here.
Yeah, this place is totally cool. I, I like it. I'm enjoying my visit here. I guess you can win a lot of tickets. Yeah, if I were, say, like a 10 to 12 year old kid, I would enjoy my time here. I mean, I'm enjoying my time as an adult. and I'm not even playing the games yet. Will he crash? And it looks like there's a few games here, some SpongeBob games that are not in operation. A Ninja Turtles game. I have actually played this before. It's a beat em up. It's not as good as Turtles in Time. Uh, it's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the style of the new Nickelodeon TMNT. And uh, again, if I was a kid, I would probably love playing this. And then here's the ski ball, ice ball, good old ice ball. I love ice ball. I have some nostalgia for that, and it's it's cool to see that. And of course, you got to have some hoops in an arcade, right? For sure. I love basketball in the arcade, and I may or may not give it a whirl. We'll see. And it's Mizzou themed. We're in Columbia, Missouri, and it has to be Mizzou themed for sure. So, pretty cool place. Some more redemption stuff. A Willy Wonka machine. Air hockey. And I'll show you guys the bowling alley. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the big screens. You also have some smaller screens here. Silver Bowl, I've actually toured there as well. And uh, pretty neat place to visit take the family take some friends take a date if you will and uh, I've, I haven't been here for like fun if you will if that makes any sense and uh, I might take advantage of uh, coming here sometime and you know going bowling and playing some arcade games I'm actually a little surprised they have some pinball going on here stern pinball pinball alley i love that sign that's so radical we have star wars that's so rad oh my gosh that is so radical oh man and i love pinball like absolutely and I love that it's kind of in a retro style there. Stranger Things, I have played Stranger Things. This is a pretty fun little pinball game. Um, we'll take a look at the field. I love that these are all stern too. Gotta get Winona in there. Hopper, the Munsters. This is a newer one, I think. These are all newer. Sorry for the glare. There's Grandpa Munster hanging out. Herman Munster, Lily. Pretty fun little field. And here's that close up of the, the sign. That's probably my favorite thing in here, besides the Galaga and the Space Invaders and Pac-Man. X-Men. I have not seen this pinball before. I don't know if this is kind of an older one. It looks a little older. We got Wolverine down in there and Magneto. It, it's kind of a simple little design but I like it. I think this is a little bit older. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it. You guys let me know in the comments, when did this pin come out? The Beatles, Beatlemania. This is rocking. I have never seen this one either. That's rad. 
or it's fab if you will totally cool star trek i've played this one it looks like it's not working right now yeah it's probably down and then wrestlemania i can't see that person in front that was a really bad joke but here's wrestlemania You gotta have the rock on there, right? He's doing the rock bottom. That's rocking, literally. The Bella Twins. The Big Show. Pretty cool. Here's a complete panoramic view of the entire arcade. Yeah, if you are in the area, Columbia, Missouri, the Columbia Mall, I recommend that you come to Level Up Entertainment. And uh, this place is pretty cool. They do serve some food. You can have a party here birthday parties, etc. Laser tags here, bowling, and just a lot of fun arcade games. Newer arcade games, nothing too retro though. And uh, I would, would have liked to have seen maybe two or three retro machines, but uh, you can't complain. There's some good quality stuff here for sure. So check it out. Come to Level Up Entertainment. And a uh, big shout out to uh, the business owners for letting me film here and record and do a little tour All right guys. Well, thank you so much for watching Hope you enjoyed my video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope you have a great rest of your day